determine the length of the missing side here if we know the perimeter is 206 meters. Well, we're given a parallelogram, and one of the properties of a parallelogram is that the opposite sides are congruent or equal in length. So if this side here has a length of 46 meters, this side here is also 46 meters. And in geometry, to identify sides that have the same length, we often use tick marks. So if we use one tick mark here and one tick mark here, that means those two have the same length. And these two opposite sides would also have the same length. So let's use two tick marks here and here. Now the height being 38 meters is irrelevant to this question because we're dealing with the perimeter. So we can ignore this length of 38 meters. But now if we take the perimeter of 206 meters, and subtract out the length of these two sides, it'll leave the length for the remaining two sides. And since they're equal in length, we can divide that by two to determine the length of the missing side. 46 meters plus 46 meters would be 92 meters. So we'll take the perimeter of 206 meters and subtract 92 meters. And this will give us the length of this side and this side. So 6 minus 2 would be 4, 20 minus 9 would be 11. So we have 114 meters for the length of these two sides. But since we know they have the same length, we can take this length and divide it by 2 to determine the length of one of the sides. So 114 meters divided by 2 would be equal to 57 meters, which would be the length of the missing side. 57 meters here, as well as down here. Now to me this is a logical way to solve this problem, but if we had to solve this using an equation, we could label the missing side here x, which means the opposite side would also be x, and therefore knowing the perimeter is 206 meters, we could set up an equation that 2 times x plus 2 times 46 must equal 206. And if we solve this equation, we would get a solution of x equals 57. But I think if we can figure this out logically, this method is just as good.